In this Adobe After Effects tutorial, we'll be learning importance of info panel. First things first, if you don't find the info panel that is on the top right here, go to window and ensure that info is checked. All right. So if you look at the, you know, the top right, you can see X and Y values here. So X represents the position of our mouse pointer on the composition. This is a 1920 by 1080 resolution. So you can see that the values are changing from 1920 by 1080 from the X and Y axis. If I move outside the composition, you can see that the values are further extending. All right. Another thing that the info panel gives us is let me create a text. T E X T. All right. Now, if I hover over this red color here, you can see that the RGBA values are being changed on the top right in the info panel. Right. And if I start playing with the layers on my, on my timeline, you can see that the duration and the in and out points are also being changed. Let me show you clearly. So, if I move this timeline towards the center, you can see that the in duration is at 2 seconds and 16 frames and the out is at 6 seconds and 9 frames. If I move it towards the left and right, you can see that the in and out values are being changed. You can get that information with this info panel. In addition to that, you can see that we also have the delta here. If I increase or decrease the duration of my layer, you can notice the triangle that you see is nothing but the difference. We call it delta. And if I reduce this, you can see that it has become negative. 20 which refers to you know we are reducing 20 frames this definitely comes in handy whenever you are playing with the timeline whenever you are moving your layers few frames forward or backward you can easily notice how much you are moving with the help of these values i hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and see you guys next time with another tutorial